Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Bird. Hi. And we're going to make some kind of fashion shots today. Now, I wanted to do something uh, using more of a high key look. And you hear people say high key all the time. And generally, what they mean when they say that is a white background. It's not really what high key means. High key means low contrast, right? So generally, you're shooting like against these, these big open shots against white backgrounds. That's why people think that. Um, but if you were to shoot, let's say, a silhouette against a white background, that would not be high key. It would actually be low key. I know, weird. So, anyways, I've got the windows here, and the light in the studio is very nice. However, if I shoot in this direction like I am, the windows uh, will be completely blown out um, if we just expose for, you know, the, the front side of bird. So we don't want that because that wouldn't be high-key anymore. That would be overexposed junk, right? So what we want to do is balance it, and for that I'm going to use a flash. So I've got Profoto B10 Plus here. It's a 500-watt second strobe. I'm just going to bounce it into a V-flat. Now, I'm going to balance it out so that it looks as natural as possible, and I'm going to um, have it come from this direction off to the side so it doesn't feel artificial, right? If I put it over here, it would feel more artificial because it would be not coming from the direction of the windows, right? This is kind of the windows go along this wall. We're kind of fooling the viewer that it's the window light on some level. So that being said, let's set it up. So I've got over here uh, my Nikon Z6. And the first thing we want to do is set up an exposure, not a black frame like we normally do, but we want to set up an exposure for the windows. So I'm just going to look to my camera. Um, you know, it's a mirrorless camera, and I'm going to basically, she's more or less a silhouette right now, and I'm going to dial in my, I'm just going to put my shutter speed at 200, which is the maximum sync speed for the camera, and I'm going to dial in my f-stop to get where we want to be. Okay, so 5.6 looks pretty good for me. We'll make a shot. Okay, so that looks decent. The windows are bright, but there's detail. Once I add the flash, I may mess around with this a little bit um, because it's going to affect it on some level. The, wind, the flash is going to hit the, the, the shades and affect the exposure. I'm going to use my Profoto A1 as my controller because I have it here and it's easy enough to use. I don't think I'm going to use it as a, as a fill flash, but I have it, so I can always do it if I want to. So we're going to kind of set this up here. I'll get an exposure with the flash. Let's bring this up. It's going to focus on her. We'll do a test shot here. And then we're going to take a look. Okay. See what a difference that made. Now, if I was to overexpose, let's say I went to F8 or F16 or something, the, of the flash, on the flash, I should say, the windows would get super dark. As it stands, they're bright and they look pretty decent, um, but I think they're not quite bright enough. So I'm actually going to dial in. I'm going to go down to, there's a few different ways you can do this. I'm going to go down to 4.5. I'm going to leave the flash the way it is, and I'm going to go to 4.5. I will have to adjust the flash in a second, but I just want to look. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna turn my flash down about half a stop. See, I'm actually about two thirds of a stop less power uh, coming through the windows basically, but I'm only turning the flash down a little bit. I should say I added two thirds of a stop in the window, but I'm only subtracting half a stop on the flash. Because this is a matter of balance, right? We want it to look as natural as possible. See that? We've got beautiful light across her. You can actually see on the ground over here Light lines from the light because the sun is over here on the side of the frame where the, the light is, the V-flat. Okay? Looks nice and natural. And because I'm using flash, it will freeze if she moves around and stuff, and we'll just make some portraits. So let's see what we got. We'll shoot a few like this. Give me some room to move. Nice and simple. I'm shooting, you know, fairly wide. Um, so she has room to move because I can always crop it down a little bit later if, if I wanted. I'm on a tripod. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to pop off the tripod for this because she's got so much room to move around. Uh, I want to give myself a little bit more freedom there. So I get this question a lot. I'm actually picking my focus point, the one on her face. The reason why I'm not using like the general let the camera pick the focus point is because it might focus on the wall or something behind her even though it has you know face detect or whatever because she is totally a silhouette to the camera and I'm, you know, I don't want to trust my focus based on that I want to pick it. Uh, that's just me. Some people love the autofocus systems. I'm much more of a manual focus kind of guy. More like that. Good. What's nice is because of the inverse square law and all the other stuff, she can move around and it basically gives us fairly good exposure no matter where she goes. Good. Now what can be fun here actually though is her silhouette is really beautiful so I can actually go in and turn my flash off. 
And we can do a couple of those silhouettes. So maybe like looking, extending your face. Yeah, there we go. Right, and we can actually shoot kind of a nice silhouette if we want that look, because that's actually really nice. And you know, the thing is, again, this is balanced, but who's to say what's balanced, right? That looks nice to me. You know, maybe I like that, but I want some more detail. I'll turn the flash back on, and then I'll actually dial it down maybe. Let's maybe dial it down to stop and a half. Keeping everything the same on the camera, right? So then she's lit, but she's darker, right? So we can do that too, make it a little more moody. I think I'll go a little bit, a little bit more. I'm gonna add, add half a stop. And again, this is kind of like seasoned to taste, you know? We take a peek at the computer. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good to me. Like she's darker with some mood, but the windows are still bright. So now I'm at 4.5, uh, we'll do that. And then the other way that you could do this, guys, just so you know uh, all the math here and stuff, if you wanna play around with it is, the other thing we could do is add some shutter, or some shutter speed, go to, go to 125, let's say 100. We'll add a stop of, of exposure to the shutter. So now the windows will get brighter, but the flash will stay the same. And we can play around with that. Because most of the kind of the ambient lights behind her, oops, we should be able to stop the motion even at a hundredth of a second. Good, very nice. You know, and again, I'm giving her lots of room to move. That's why I came off the tripod for a second, but see, she's nice and sharp. And you know, the files are big enough that I can just crop in later. I'd rather do that than risk cropping off stuff that I, that I don't like in the exposure and I can't get back. So I can just do that, you know, and bam, we've got a nice composition, we have nice exposure, and everything looks darn good. And also this light is really good even for a portrait, so I can step in, I'm gonna do a closer shot, and we can shoot just a nice portrait, right? And that'll also work. Nice, big, soft light for a portrait, clean, looks good. Not terrible, right? Nope. So that's what we like to call it, not terrible. So this is good, like you're gonna find yourself sometimes in a spot where you wanna shoot fashion, or you wanna shoot a portrait or something in an environment, and it's a good idea to look at where the light is in the environment, like where it's coming from naturally, because that will make it look a lot more real, right? And don't put the light back here, because it would, you'd have the same problem, right? It should be dark on the other side, but putting it over here is enough to kind of trick the viewer into thinking it's coming from the same direction, which then gives you a nice exposed shot without having, you know, shadow, a silhouette, basically. And if you like silhouettes, shoot those too. But a silhouette is not high key. So there you go, we learn something new every day, right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully today is that day. So, uh, all right, so I will put Bird's information in the description, you guys can follow her. Um, follow me, Daniel Norton Photographer. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.